Hi, Amy. So first of all, I really liked the way that you framed your Fed talk in terms of a cohesive lesson plan or unit. Um, I thought that was a really interesting take on the assignment to not only talk about how do we incorporate the two, but give a solid concrete example was really, really nice and really helpful. Um, the first thing that I really liked in your Fed talk was your personal connection of your own learning style to the lesson itself and talking about how, you know, okay, painting calms me. I like to be doing things while I'm processing. And I thought that was a really great reminder of the fact that our students all have such different learning styles and how can arts education be used to engage all different types of learners. Um, I thought that was a really, really cool, really personal touch. Um, I really liked when you quoted Ken Robinson talking about how, how we're encouraging kids to grow out of creativity rather than growing in it, um, but we're pushing them out of it. And so I really liked that this was focused on a younger audience because I know that your specialty is a little bit younger than students that I work with. And so many times I feel like they've kind of had creativity beaten out of them, you know, for so many years in a row. And then all of a sudden they show up in the high school theater and I'm like, okay, be creative. And they don't know how, and I have to start back over. So it's really refreshing to kind of see this whole idea of how do we incorporate creativity throughout their educational experience. Um, and that leads into my next comment, which is that this is truly a cross-curricular thing that you've presented here. And I thought that was so neat how you talked about not only the, you know, core subjects that we started with, but incorporated art and drama and movement um, as well. And I'm sure that there were many other things that we could include. I'm sure there's a health thing that we could put in there as well. Um, and so I thought that was a really neat way to show how the arts and the core can truly be collaborative and codependent and work together to create a truly meaningful educational experience for our students. Um, finally, I loved your quote at the end where you said, I believe a teacher's job is to prevent blockages in student learning. So many times when I'm thinking about my job, I think about, okay, how do I pave the way for my students? And I need to keep that in mind that, okay, not only how do I pave the way, but how do I teach them how to knock down the walls that are in their way so that way they don't shut down later, you know, when it's hard, when it gets rough. I've given them the tools not only to, you know, go forward, but to bust through those walls and continue moving even though things are challenging, um, which is a skill that I think that they can take both forward into their life, both in terms of building relationships and pushing forward with people and with um uh, hopefully establishing a positive learning experience and relationship with learning um, throughout their entire lives. So thank you so much for your creative take on this assignment. I really enjoyed watching your video and I'm excited to meet you this summer.